Hi guys, this is Kara from Cosplay Creations, co-founder, co-creator, as I'm sure you know by now. It's going to be a short week. I just got back from SLCC a couple of days ago, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to get anything done this week. We are starting the Halloween contest today. I was supposed to start it yesterday. Uh, as you can see, I'm running a day behind on my vlog. I haven't gotten the contest up yet. We were trying to actually get some last minute stuff done for the costume that we're giving away this week or not this week, sorry, with this contest. The contest will last for two weeks. As soon as it's over, we will get it shipped, so that way you'll have it in time for Halloween. Again, as a special reminder, just in case somebody has forgotten, we are giving away the painting that's hanging right here on the wall. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas landscape with the Jack and Sally silhouette in the moon, as well as a costume basics. And I say basics because in order to get something done that would look good, that was a full costume. It would take a lot more time than the week we would have to work on it, and we would need exact specifications and such. Now, we did end up doing a poll on this. Those of you who have participated, we appreciate it. There was like three of you. Yay. Uh, we do... Sorry, my eyes are bugging me. We ended up going with a wizard. Wizards are fun. We have a cloak right now that is uh, finished-ish. We are uh, debating on adding a little bit more to it, but uh, we do have a basic cloak right now. We have a little pouch. We have little potions that are going into the little pouch. Okay, see? Little potions. These are glass. So just as a heads up, when you get these in, these are glass. If, if you win, that is. Now, uh, we also have a wand. I'm actually really proud of these. This is the reason this didn't get finished yesterday is because I was working on these yesterday and this morning. Now, we have a couple of different ones. However, this is the one that we are going to be giving away. Okay? It is... Uh, I believe uh, 12 and a half, 13 inches long. Okay. This is a, uh, I'm sorry, uh, a wood base with a clay topper, metallic paint. It's awesome. These haven't been sealed yet, so the, the, I'm sure they might actually be a little bit shinier than this when it's done. Uh, the detail working, I don't think you can really tell on the camera, but it's actually very nice. I'm very proud of these. These turned out really well. We do have these up for sale for those of you, those of you who want these but don't necessarily plan on waiting for the contest to end. We do have a couple of these that we have up for sale. This is one of them. Okay. Now, not only do we sell these with them painted, we also have the option of getting them unpainted. Now, none of the, no two wands are ever going to be alike. I, I'm sure most of you have seen Harry Potter by now. It, it's the same concept. Every wand that we produce is going to be just a little bit different. This is what they look like before we paint them. We give the option of unpainted or painted when you're purchasing them. Okay? You see? Obviously extremely different from this one. But awesome nonetheless. Now, the way it works, uh, there is a uh, discount. Obviously, if you're painting it yourself, I'm not going to charge you for me painting them. If, if I'm not painting them, that would be dumb. So, if you order the unpainted one, this is what you will get. Not this one specifically, but, but you get the idea, this basic concept here. We will plasti dip it. We will make sure it is a solid color, a solid base for whatever you want to do with it. So it is ready to be painted right out of the box. I do suggest, if you're getting it this way, to make sure not only do you have paint, but you have a sealant. I don't care if it is a lacquer or a spray mod podge, you're going to want something to make sure it stays. This is plasti dipped, however, so that means that the paint will stick to it well. Like it, It's almost like it feels like plastic now, which is awesome. Okay? Now, when you order these, okay, keep in mind, no two are alike. You are literally going to get some random design that comes out of my brain. Oh, okay? And whatever colors we happen to put on, to, on it. Now, these are different sizes. I know it's hard to tell without seeing two of them, so let's see if I can do this, okay? These are two different sizes here. The, the black one is actually closer to 15, 16 inches versus the 12 to 13 for the blue one. The blue one, again, is the one that we are giving away with the contest. Now, when you order them, if you have a specific length you'd prefer, we are going anywhere from a 12 inch to a 16, just kind of depends on the design. If there's a certain inch length that you would prefer, please let us know in advance. Whenever you place the order in the notes, leave a small specification as to how long you would like it. And if there's a certain color you're doing, like say that you're doing a wizard, but you're doing a pink sparkly one, let us know. We, we are more than happy to work with you on the color. Uh, like I said, the designs are vary every time, but if there's a certain color you want, a certain length you want, let us know in the notes when you place the order. Now, these don't have a, a long turnaround time, unlike things like the mallet and the kilala. 
we, this, we're, you're looking at anywhere from a week to two weeks between the time you order and the time you get them, just depending on what we've got going on. So there is still plenty of time to get these in time for Halloween, all right? Please, I'm begging though, do not wait until three days before Halloween and they get mad because you didn't get it in time. So give us at least a week. We I can have these out in just a couple of days and on their way to you. I don't control the post office, however, so please keep that in mind. Now, we do have the cloak. I don't know what Christy did with it, so I can't show you guys again, but it is just a plain black cloak. We do have a little blue Jimmy brochy thing that connects it. Uh, we also have, like I said, the little black pouch. We've got your potion bottles. We've got your staff. Right now, we're not sure about the hat. If we do that, add the hat to it, it'll be at a later time. Let's face it, most of you are doing this because you want that. So, again, uh, we do have the, po the, the potions. The potions have been up for sale for months, people, so if you want potions, just order them. We do have the wands up for sale already. We do have the Christmas ornaments that went up for sale this last week. We do still have plenty left, guys. Please, if you want these, make sure you get the, the order in early so we can get them done and out to you in time to get on your Christmas tree. Uh, we are going to have at least two of these available right now, right off, that are already done. Well, I'm going to be painting this one in a red and black later. Uh, we've got the green and black, which looks awesome. Look at that, guys. I'm very proud of this one. This one just looks fantastic. Anyway, so I'm getting completely completely off topic here. We do have uh, Hunger Games coming out next month, so I will be getting together a uh, giveaway pack for that. Make sure that you're keeping up with what we're doing as far as giveaways and such in the next two months. It's almost Christmas, guys. Ev everybody is looking for fun, inventive, and completely idealistic things to give the people that they love. We do glass edges. We do we do personalized glass edges. That's what a lot of people don't, aren't understanding here. If you see something that you like that we've done and you want your best friend's name on it or your boyfriend's name on it or your kids names on them, we are more than happy to do that for you. We did that last year. We did uh, one of our good customers wanted Batman and Superman, I believe it was, for her sons and we etched their names on the back of it. It's, it's a great fun personalized gift that they'll use all year. It's something that, that goes over really well because people get excited when their names are on things. I don't know why. So, keep that in mind. We are going to start getting busy here soon. We've actually been really busy this last couple of weeks with Halloween coming. But if you see something that you would like, you know, order it. Let us know. We do have uh, the Harley tutu that went up this week as an individual item. And we re-designed? I don't know if that's the right word. We redid the Harley starter pack. So instead of having a bunch of fluff and crap that nobody ever really wants, right now we've lowered the price. It is the Harlequin tutu. It is the jester skirt that goes with it that I know a lot of you love. And the Arkham style armbands because those are a, a hit. I, I could not have done better with that had I tried. Now, <clears throat> It is based on the length of the tutu as to the price you're going to pay. So we're, you're looking between 65 and 75 regardless of your waist size. This is this is a big thing for me because it drives me absolutely batshit crazy. What do you... Ignore the hand in the background. No matter how big or small you are, you're going to be paying the price based on how long you want the tutu because that's where we're going to end up with a lot of extra money going out for materials. So... We try and keep this as fair as we possibly can. But again, we have the new Harley kit that's been redesigned, for lack of a better word. The Harley 2-2 is now available by itself as well. We've got the wands. Uh, that's pretty much it for this week, I believe. We do have... Someone buy the damn melon! <laughs> we do have a petticoat that I'm going to be working on probably in the next week or so. My niece decided she wanted to do a small version of Harley Quinn, so we're looking at working on a, a petticoat that I think you guys are going to be really excited about. It's actually going to be half black, half red, so it's going to drive me crazy. So, as soon as I get that done, I'm, I'm going to, you know, obviously let you guys see that. I'm going to do a brief tutorial on YouTube for creating a good costume cheaply, basically, for your children. We also have a tutorial that's going up sometime in this next week, within plenty of time for Halloween, for doing dragon scales. I actually discovered this when I was in SLCC. Uh, my friend that I was staying with wanted to do a dragon queen, and we discovered 
the best way we have found so far to do dragon scales on your skin to make it look fantastic, okay? I've posted a couple of pictures. We will be doing a tutorial on how we managed it. But for this week, I think that's going to be it, guys. Have fun. Cosplay. Make sure to keep an eye out for the costume or the costumes. <laughs> Make sure to keep an eye out for the contest, all right? We will see you later this week. Have fun. Be excited. Halloween is coming. Yay! Bye, guys.